Welcome everyone to Pontos Fathom Hobbies. This is my paint through for Cthulhu Death May Die Season 1 Episode 1 figures. So here you see a star vampire already Xenophil primed. You can check that video out in the uh, on the channel where I primed all the figures just to kind of get that out of the way. And now as I go into each episode, I'm just going to paint up the figures that you need for tabletop ready. So here's a star vampire. I'm going to use the painting scheme from the card. Um, we also have cultists here uh, that have to be painted up. Uh, these are the antagonists for uh, Cthulhu Death May Die Season 1, Episode 1. And I'm going to follow, again, the standard sort of the box painting for those. I'm going to be using um, Skull Color Red as a basic coat, but I'll probably use some washes to sort of age them. Uh, here's a Biake that I'm going to be painting also. Uh, get two of these, two star vampires, and also I'm going to be playing the Cthulhu uh, as the Great Old One. So uh, that mini box that comes within um, Cthulhu Death May Die main rules will be used as the villains. So you can see the painting schema I'm going to use for these. Uh, I'm going to use that orange with the yellow highlights and sort of a dull greenish gray sand-ish color. Um, I'm, I'm looking to get into playing quickly so I'm uh, just trying to get through these paintings obviously gonna have fun with painting it but I will use the uh, I will continue improving my airbrush skills to uh, apply the base coats and then I'll probably do brush work on the figures and then I'll plan to do a coat of a clear coat on them so here's just a quick uh, spray through of the uh, using the skull color red just giving them their first um, first coat on top of the Xenothal Prime. And again, uh, making effort to very lightly uh, color these as I want that Xenothal Prime highlights to, to show through. So uh, luckily, most of these figures with the Star Vampires and the Cultists have a lot of red on them. So I'm going to focus on the red. Um, and then I will sort of hand paint the other details. So uh, you can see here that I've already got the base coat of the red and I've gone ahead and added the flesh by brush. Uh, so also a little bit of white for the books and then I will highlight the, um, and then you can see I've, I've done a green under, uh, first coat, base coat for these, a kind of a dull green with a sand gray, a sand uh, brown color. And then I've done the, the yellow and orange gradation highlights for the star vampires and also this bit of pink reflected light in the sort of flower of the star vampires um, fabuscus whatever you want to call it um, it's gross anatomy um, yeah so then you see those flame tips there are, are, are faded out and also um, I've used that white to highlight sort of the illumination coming from all those candle lights uh, the Biaki I'm doing pretty simple. I'll probably just wash these and then do a, a, a shiny coat on them to kind of get them uh, table ready. But I think the details really pop on these and uh, I'm happy with just uh, my level of detail. I want to get these beads and these sashes uh, hit so you'll see those uh, later uh, working out. Um, also, just as you can see, the Xenophil Prime really helps with the shading for these. They... Um, they're darker on the underneath, and um, you can see in the Star Vampires, too, that blackness deep in the cracks of the under undercarriage of the, of the monster uh, really helps to have the natural highlights show through from the Xenophil Prime. And same thing with the cultists. I mean, you can tell that underneath their cloaks, there's some natural shading in there, and um, that really, you know, just that is just one coat of red and it already has some dynamics with a wash on top of that. It'll look even better. And so here's a quick shot of my Cthulhu. Uh, I, unfortunately, I didn't film myself painting him, but in the future, I'll, I'll try to uh, let you guys in on the painting process. Now you can see I've added these washes to them, uh, all the figures. So the Biake details are really popping. I used a, uh, a Citadel uh, a wash um, and the brownish color uh, flesh wash and then I also did so for the cultists faces so you can see that the face details have got the wash um, highlights into the dark recesses 
Um, I also went ahead and um, did the washes for this different pose of the cultist. Uh, left the books kind of lightly uh, white so that they kind of show through some of that under red just to kind of give it some character. Um, this is a figure that we won't be painting, but this one's another one that we've painted. Uh, I can see Cthulhu here is looking pretty ominous. I actually have uh, Icelandic sand on, on his base, so he's he's got the black sand. Uh, yeah, you can see that these guys kind of uh, take their cue from the uh, box art. Uh, still not done with this. I think that the clear coat will really make this one jump because there's a lot of reflective light in this. And the Biakye also uh, starting to come together here with the, the wash, definitely um, helping to make the painting easier. Uh, so I think, um, what do you guys think? Uh, uh, leave some comments. Have you painted your figures? Uh, would love to hear from everyone. As you guys know, I've got a Patreon and trying to build this channel. So uh, listen, your like, your subscription, your sharing definitely help us. So we appreciate it. Would love to hear from you guys about your, your, um, your painting and uh, your feedback. And would like to see what you guys are also working on. Anybody out there painting uh, Cthulhu figures. Would love to hear from you. So, uh, and we can also do that on the Patreon. So hit us up in the Patreon and we can have a chat. You can see here Cthulhu. He's got all of these um, stunted suction cups along his back. that uh, They have an orange uh, rim to them. So yeah, quite quite fantastic. Really excited to play this first uh, playthrough. Uh, links to the Cthulhu Death May Die episode, season one, episode one uh, are below. Okay, so now we're going to get into the two investigators that will play. It's going to be Borden, who's based on Lizzie Borden, and uh, Morgan, who's kind of got a Indiana Jones feel to him. And again, I'm going to mimic the um, the character card, investigator card painting. So here's a quick time lapse paint through of uh, of me painting these figures. Again, the red theme comes back with. Lizzie Borden's dress and the muted tones of Morgan uh, echo some of those same colors that are in the Biakye and the and so here's a first coat from some flesh tone uh, some highlights the brown of the axe handle the gray for the axe quick gray coat for the bases um, Morgan's green khakis and his Indiana Jones hat a darker brown and a light brown. So now I'm kind of going through and doing a uh, painting of the um, a spray through of a clear coat on top of uh, the Biakye and the Star Vampires. I think this will really make them glisten and kind of give them a uh, not only the protection of the clear coat but also the uh, it will add that Kind of reflective light to them which makes them seem grosser and uh, so, so yeah you can see that the the pinks now really pop and the highlights really catch the, the light for the star vampires and i did the same thing for the cthulhu figure um, and now you can kind of see these guys are table ready as far as i feel so uh, we'll be putting these on a cthulhu death may die Episode 1, Season 1 um, playthrough. So uh, I think you can click on the after video and watch the gameplay. You can see the cultists have got some uh, dry brush work on their sashes and their beads. So there's another detail there. And here's, looks like we're ready for gameplay. So, um, hey guys, thanks for making it through another uh, of my figure painting videos. Uh, miniature painting is something I'm working to get better at and uh, appreciate your guys' support, comments, likes, and subscribes. And uh, we'll see you in the gameplay and talk to you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.